everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, and most importantly, welcome to another Vlogmas video. There are two types of people in the world. Those who eat to live, and those who live to eat. And I, I live to eat. I love eating, I'm passionate about food, I have always been this way. And today I wanted to show you guys a full day of eating as an athlete. As you may or may not know, if you are new, I'm a figure skater and that takes up quite a bit of energy, it burns a ton of calories and you need a lot of fuel to keep you moving throughout the day and keep you energized. I just really wanted to show you guys a realistic and honest full day of eating. I've filmed a few of these before on my channel so if you wanna check them out, I will have them in the down bar, but I just love filming these videos and I feel like they are helpful with meal ideas because I tend to get bored of what I'm eating. So I personally enjoy watching other people's videos, kind of getting, you know, meal ideas, snack ideas, all that kind of stuff, and yeah. One thing to note before we hop into it, I never used to count calories or macros, like that was never a thing. I just kind of ate intuitively and listened to my body but I have started a program a few weeks ago and now I am counting macros and calories just for the progression of this program. And I wanna make this very, very clear. I do not want to trigger anyone by showing the calories or the nutritional facts that I am eating. So I just wanted to throw that disclaimer out there, but I truly believe in a healthy, balanced lifestyle and I do not want to harm anyone. This is just a new thing that I'm trying out, so yes. With all that being said, if you're not already subscribed, make sure to do so. I'm really trying to hit 11K before Christmas, so it would mean the world to me if you could help me out and reach that goal. And without further ado, let's hop into a full day of eating. I wake up around 7.30 and just kind of let my body wake up, have a couple glasses of water. And then around 8.30, I have my pre-workout. So I just have half a scoop and I let that sit in my body for like 20 to 30 minutes before my workout. It is currently 10.15 and I'm about to make some breakfast. Also, I always make an iced coffee to go with my breakfast. It's a perfect pairing, but we are currently all out of my Starbucks iced coffee. So I think I might run out and grab a coffee because I have a lot I want to get done today and coffee always helps me be more productive. I don't know. <laughs> I usually work out before I eat breakfast. I like to just work out on an empty stomach. That's just my preference. And I basically eat the same thing every single morning. I love eggs. I could literally live off of eggs. So I think I'm gonna make just a classic scrambled eggs with a piece of toast. It is absolutely no surprise I ended up at Starbucks, but um, yeah. Ooh, there we go. It's showtime. Hi, good, how are you? Can I just have a grande iced coffee with the vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top? The person in front of you paid for your order already. Oh my god, really? Yes. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Can I pay for the, person, the person's coffee behind me? Okay. Wait, that was so sweet. Where's that person's car? I got up to pay for my order and the person in front of me paid for my coffee, which was like the nicest gesture. You know, I felt like I should pay it forward and so I paid for the person behind me as well. Happy holidays, everyone. That was like such a, such a nice thing to do. I did forget to mention when I ordered though, I just got a grande iced coffee with the vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top. So, delish. So I'm gonna make a little snack to tie me over for lunch. So I think I'm gonna have a rice cake with some peanut butter.
my Starbucks was delicious and now it's like 1.30 so I'm gonna go downstairs and make some lunch. For lunch today, I'm just making a smoothie, so I just used an entire banana, this vanilla cream whey protein from GNC, some almond milk, and a few ice cubes. You just blend that up and enjoy. And then I also had some Greek yogurt. This is another great source of protein. And I usually throw some blueberries on top, but we were all out right now, so I just stuck with the plain yogurt. Around 3.30, I was hungry for another snack and I wanted something to tie me over before dinner. So I'm just having some grape tomatoes with some balsamic glaze. I got both of these from Wegmans. This has been one of my favorite snacks lately because it's so easy to prepare. It literally takes two seconds. If you wanted to spice it up, you could even add some mozzarella cheese or some avocado, but I'm just sticking to the plain old tomatoes and balsamic. It is now 5.25 on the dot and I'm gonna start cooking dinner. So I'm gonna be making these little eggplant parm bites. It's basically like a sheet of eggplant parm. So I found a recipe on Pinterest that I'm gonna try out and hoping it tastes good. I'm sure it will. We're gonna preheat the oven to 3.75. Like I said, I found this recipe on Pinterest, so I just first sliced up all the eggplant. I'm gonna take one egg and scramble it up to coat the eggplant. I'm also going to take another bowl and pour some breadcrumbs into it. Spray your pan that you're gonna be laying the eggplant on. Basically, I'm just dipping the eggplant into the egg and flipping it over and then I'm coating it with the breadcrumbs, placing it on the pan and repeating for every single slice. I put those in the oven for 15 minutes, took them out, flipped them over, baked them for 10 more minutes. Then I just added some marinara sauce on the top as well as mozzarella cheese and put those back in the oven for like five minutes so that it would melt the cheese and that is literally it. These actually turned out so good. This was my first time making them and they were delicious. And then around like nine o'clock, I was hungry again. So I just had an empire apple as well as one of my favorite protein bars. It's just the pure protein deluxe chocolate bar. So that is all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me, seeing what I eat in a day. Again, this is how I personally choose to fuel my body. And of course, like I said before, I love to eat, so food is very enjoyable to me. It is a fun thing. 
but most importantly, I view food as fuel for my body. This is what I personally eat to reach my highest potential and to perform at my absolute best. So again, like I said, I'm not a health expert, I am not a nutritionist, I am not a dietitian, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. And also, one more thing, I'm not fully vegetarian. I definitely have cut back significantly on my meat consumption, but I still love a good ribeye steak. That is my favorite food. It has been since I was literally eight years old. So I will occasionally eat meat, but on a normal day, I do not eat meat. So I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for your love and support on my channel. Your support has such a huge impact on me and my life, and I'm just so appreciative and grateful. And especially in this year, my channel has grown so much in 2020, and that is all thanks to each and every one of you. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And that is all I have. So I love you guys. Thank you again, and I will see you in my next video.